The Honolulu Police Department is opening a manslaughter investigation involving two police officers. Chief Logan says the officers arrested a 77-year-old man using physical force. The man died days later. The officers are now on restricted duty but are not under arrest. Max Rodriguez has details. Two Honolulu police officers are being investigated for manslaughter after 77-year-old Thomas Matias died days after an arrest that the department says involved physical force. According to the Honolulu Medical Examiner, rib fracture and blunt force trauma to the chest were contributing factors to the man's death classified as homicide. Two crime reduction unit officers were placed on restrictive duty shortly after his death in January. They have three and eight years of service. The manslaughter investigation will be conducted by our criminal investigation division and our professional standards office. So is your understanding that these two officers that beat the 77-year-old male? That's not what I said. What I said is these officers use force to effect an arrest on the suspect who sustained injuries based off that arrest. Matias was arrested on December 28, believed to be riding a stolen moped. Police say he refused medical treatment. On December 30th, officers and paramedics responded to the man's home for a medical assistance call. The male told the responding officers that he had been assaulted by police officers two days earlier. He was taken to the hospital but left several hours later. He was found dead inside his home on January 10. Chief Logan says whether the man resisted arrest remains a part of the investigation. I think the investigation will, will play that out. I, I think we need to know more information as to the engagement between uh, the use of force and why. Chief Logan says there's no body cam footage of the incident. These were plainclothes officers not required to wear body-worn cameras. Part of a statement from the police union says we fully expect the Honolulu Police Department to conduct a thorough and objective investigation into these allegations to get to the truth. Max Rodriguez, KHON News, working for Hawaii.